I'm gonna make a video today on how to do a complete 10 liter oil change in a Toyota Coaster. Like all those videos on YouTube when you're trying to figure something out, you type in how to. This is my how to video. So I've got 10 liters of oil. I've got an oil filter. First of all, we're gonna jack the bus up a bit. First of all, just got a crack. Oh, like that. Just to get the air flowing. Now, if you're not a mechanic, I find it often helps to take all your clothes off so you don't get dirty. Plus, it's absolutely pouring down rain here. And there's puddles under the bus. It's wet, so I think the no clothes method today, it's gonna help. So now we've gotta go and take the arm. Um, I don't even know what it is, like a lock nut at the very bottom of the sump and you undo that and it all just pours out into a $3 bucket I bought at Bunnings Warehouse. And once that's full, then we can use the new container with the new oil. Once that's poured in, we can empty the old stuff in there. And I don't even know how to dispose of oil properly. We're just gonna put it next to the bin, uh, like a council bin, because I think if you put it in the bin, it goes to landfill and that's a pretty bad thing. But if you put it next to the bin, the council boys will come empty the bin and they will dispose of it properly, I hope and I just don't know how to dispose of oil properly. Yeah. Without getting oil all over your nice socket. Here it comes. Here it comes. It'll probably be red hot because we've just driven here. Make sure your bucket has a bigger litre capacity than your oil sump. Oh, there you go. So you just let that drain for a couple of minutes. Yeah, just let that drain. Peace. Ugh. Gonna take that blue thing off now. This guy here. And replace him with a new oil filter. There's the old black filthy one. Here's my beautiful new one. If you're ever buying filters and air filters and oil filters and fuel filters, if you go for this brand Ryko, they're actually made, manufactured here in Australia, as opposed to anything else, which is usually China or Thailand. It's just there. Just gotta do it. I always just go finger tight. Then I'll put the camera down and I'll do it, uh, grab it with two hands and tighten it. Try to do another sort of quarter of a turn. I always find if you do it by hand, it's easier because the next time you do it, you take it off by hand. I'm gonna head back under and put that nut plug back under. You gotta put your hand in the bucket of oil. Turns with this sick puppy. Just like that, you've drained the oil. Baby wipes again, they're great. And they're just Coles ones. Good for poo, good for oil. As best you can, spill as much as possible. A funnel would be ideal, but when I just went to the bins in this car park and all I could find was empty coffee cups and little green plastic bags full of dog shit. That's no help to me, so I have to still with this. And we'll hit that with a bit of degreaser after this and then we'll go under the bus where I've spilled anything on the ground. We'll also degrease that. I'll give it a scrub. I'll hit it with some sand. I'll sweep the sand up, pick it up, put it in one of those dog shit bags and I'll put that in the bin. And that way, it should be pretty damn spotless. At the full 10 litres as well. Oh, it's everywhere. That's all right. The thing about these tubs, you can sort of close them as much as you need to. 